Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM Final Mod Pack. When we last left off, we have just finished a mission which was here somewhere in Central Africa. And we have lost only one operative, which is excellent, but uh, we still need uh, to improve. So what I was thinking about actually is to use something which we have enabled very recently. And that is the improved version of the armored vest, the alloy vest, which we have uh, at our disposal now after the discovery of alien alloys. Okay, so front armor 30, 10, 15, let's say over here. And the alloy vest is 44, 20, 20, 26 and 15, so it's much better. This ballistic vest is reinforced with alien alloys for greatly improved durability. It also decreases your time units, stamina and reactions by 5, just like the normal vest. And uh, it's not as protective against armor piercing ammunition, surprisingly. But it also is more uh, resistant to laser beams. So we'll be actually using a couple of those. Front armor 44 is uh, actually quite good. It's quite good. So... Let's uh, go into our manufacturing, current production, okay, three more hours for the motion scanner to finish and now we can start doing the alloy vests. We do require four units of alien alloys per alien, uh, per alloy vest, that's good, we'll do ten of them I guess. Not everybody will get a vest, just a couple of guys will be at the front of the Sky Ranger. Actually at the front of the Sky Marshal. It will take 16 days, that's fine. And uh, we also wanted to rename a few soldiers. Do we have some spare? We have two. Okay, I need to wait for the rest. So that's fine. And... Uh, for the moment, let's send the Sky Marshal patrol somewhere over here. And wait. Alien containment is finished. Excellent. We don't have any live aliens yet. That's okay. But finally we can uh, start capturing them alive, which is excellent. Hangar and large radar system at our Asia base is finished. Excellent. Excellent. That means we can probably return with the Sky Marshal and he'll be patrolling over in the South uh, Africa from now on. And we do need a mission. Come on, give us a mission. Attack dogs, that's fine. Alien alloy ammunition. Okay, that's cool. With the knowledge of how to process the ultra-strong yet lightweight alien alloys, we can now manufacture alloy bullets capable of withstanding higher muzzle velocities without disintegrating. Fired from alloy casings that are lighter yet stronger than previously possible. Okay. So... What does that mean? Cannon, advanced firearms, start rifle. We don't have anything new, right? Probably not. So maybe we can uh, manufacture them. Or maybe buy them even. Oh! Now we can produce pistol alloy clip, magnum 44 alloy drum, rifle alloy clip, submachine clips, shotgun clips, sniper clips. Wow, a lot of... <laughs> new clips even for a heavy machine gun that's cool that's cool let's actually do some of those let's put uh, 10 people off this project and do i think rifle or sniper rifle let's do rifle alloy clips oh they do require alien alloys too so let's not not do that many let's do 10 yeah, that's fine. And we'll do also 
fan of the sniper rifle alloy clips star production let's do 10 of those okay anything else i would love some magnum clips let's do six good then pistols no not really and that's about it okay so we'll be we'll be doing that let's actually split them a little bit so rifle and snipe rifle five guys good it will take just two days that's okay that's okay fast forward time and our engineers and uh, more soldiers are over here so more people on the alloy vest 20 as before and six people over here that's cool and we have new soldiers which we need to rename and i will do that off camera i'll be right back and we're back so let's have a look first of all we have resurrected katusi your second incarnation has very good reactions decent firing accuracy very strong time units are not so great then we have new guys chris sullivan <laughs> a coward no reactions no firing accuracy relatively strong no time units you are actually not that good hmm yeah this is pretty weak but i don't want to sack anyone you'll be you'll be i don't know at the front of the sky ranger and uh, hope for a new soldier soon <laughs> then we have mr vosny Bravery 50, excellent, reactions almost the maximum, firing and currency only average, strength okay, good timing it, so this is a nice soldier. And then we have Billy, look at Billy, Billy's got enough timing it, enough stamina, maximum bravery, maximum reactions, almost maximum firing accuracy and good strength. You're cool, really cool, don't want to lose this soldier. Number 52 is Aza, decent bravery, decent reactions, very decent, firing accuracy, quite strong, nice timing, it's very good soldier as well. And last but not least, number 53 is Mr. Quiet, good timing, it's bravery is okay, reactions excellent, firing accuracy could be a lot better, but uh, we'll improve that, don't worry. And not that strong, but that is the easiest skill to improve so number 54 and 55 are not taken yet and we need to equip uh, the sky marshal so we'll be taking everybody out from the sky ranger actually like this and let me do that off camera too and we'll be putting more people on the improved craft okay nobody there anymore uh, also, we need to transfer the equipment, but uh, wasting time already. Let me stop here and I'll be right back. Okay, done. This is the crew which will go with us on the next mission. We have two sergeant, Thomas Riker and Captain Jace Tank, who is not the captain yet, but maybe this time. Then we have three squaddies, Roderick, Carlos, SK and Bobby Buns and a bunch of rookies some new guys and some uh, clones okay we'll put also armor on you i think we have uh, yeah only one so mr quiet will get an alloy vest and we do have two attack dogs as usual and basically the same equipment as before knives magnums assault rifles normal rifles and sniper rifles and we do have some alloy clips as well so i Put, uh, as many as I could on board. We are not taking shotguns with us just yet. I want to feature the Magnum first and also the flamethrower which we are taking with us now. Rocket launchers and grenade launchers as heavy weapons and a lot of grenades, uh, motion scanners, stun rods and uh, taser pistols because now we can actually take live aliens. So we'll be definitely doing that. Okay so that's fine let's uh, send sky ranger which is empty to patrol over here 
and uh, manufacturing is going on quite well. We'll probably need more of these. Let's do 20 rifle clips, 20 sniper and 10 for the magnum. Okay. Yeah, that seems fine. Five people here. 21 over there. And we need more engineers, I would say. Engineers available for... Oh, we have more engineers, but no workshop space available. That's a shame. We really need that workshop online. We'll be doing that soon. And we need more living quarters. We are almost full. So, one more facility let's say over here that's fine should I build two no what about the stores also almost full let's build another one general stores right there okay and let's resume Okay, UFO number 10, small, low, so it's landing soon, heading east. Hmm. Okay, we need to send a squad there right now, so we'll uh, see if we have any more alloy vests. Yes, we have one more for Aza. Let me double check if I have the flares. Yes, I do, although before we get there it will probably become day. Let's send Sky Marshal number one after the UFO and let's send also Interceptor number one. Okay. It would be nice if they landed. Oh, they did. Do we want to do a night mission? <laughs> yeah, that will be... That will be difficult, but uh, it means Illyrium, it means alien alloys, it means uh, more live aliens potentially, and so on and so forth. So, I think we'll be doing that. Yeah, begin the mission. And uh, I'll equip everybody and be right back with you. Okay, everybody is equipped. Let's just quickly scroll through. So, Mr. Quiet, well, everybody will have basically one or two Electro Flares because we will need those. Mr. Quiet and Aza do have alien... Why do I say alien? Alloy vest. And um, I put a few grenades and different rifles in your hands. Some of you even have smoke grenades just in case. Mr. Vosny is our Rocketeer. Chris Sullivan has a very bad accuracy, so he'll just uh, go with a Magnum and um, Motion Scanner. He'll be scouting and maybe stunning the aliens. BP Roberts is a standard soldier emissary, uh, has a bit higher strength, so everybody who can afford it will take also a stun rod with him or her just like Timur Saitov and very strong soldiers like Blood Reaper and Roderick and one more I think Bobby Bans will be taking first aid kits. Carlos also has a stun rod and uh, Thomas Riker has a sniper rifle. Captain Jace Tank will be trying out the flamethrower. I have no idea how that works so we'll be trying that. And that's it. Let's begin. And I already can see something, no idea what that is. It's a part of a ship, it looks like. Very weird, but okay. Probably means they cannot shoot at us through here, right? This blocks their view. Yeah, they can't shoot inside the craft. That's very helpful. That is indeed very helpful. Okay, doggies. Oh, and we are... What's this? We are on the bottom level already. Right? Right. Oh, so the Sky Marshal... <laughs> Look at that. It looks different. 
We don't have to step down. Oh, that is marvelous. Just marvelous. Okay, then this guy. Come over here. Nothing there. This is the edge. Excellent. The other dog. Can't see anything either, although this is a UFO already. Good. Mr. Quiet. I don't know actually if they can shoot you through here or do I need to go here first? Hmm. Don't know. Let's, uh, let's try. Okay, you have survived. Throw it over there. And this is some sort of uh, UFO we probably haven't seen yet. Or maybe it's one of those strange V-shaped ones. I think we've seen one. But let's throw a second flare too. Over there. And uh, what do our dogs say? They say... Nothing nearby. That is excellent. That means that a second guy, Aza, can come over here as well and throw the flare somewhere over there. Not possible. Okay, if you step... Whoa, what was that? Oh, you can't step through here. Well, that's a shame because now you can't throw your flares. Somebody else will have to do that. Like uh, Mr. Vosny. No, Mr. Vosny, you will be doing something else. You will be waiting over here for now. Billy, come over here. Face that way. Throw a flare right here. That's nice. Prepare a second one if you have any. Yes, you do. And come over here. Excellent. That should provide some cover. This is really a smart idea. This is a much better craft. First of all, it's on the floor level. And second of all, it has a, a shield for us. Perfect. BP Roberts, we need your flare too. What about there? Out of range. There. You are weak, right? Yes, you are. Just over here, please. Step aside. And everybody else will just move a little bit closer. And we'll see what happens. It's not very easy to offload everybody in such a deployment scheme. But I guess that's not such a big problem. But we'll probably keep our Sky Ranger too, in case I want uh, a different deployment from my craft. Yeah, this is definitely... It has advantages and it has probably also disadvantages. Okay, you guys, front armor facing this way should protect you, hopefully. Attack dog. Scout a little bit more. There's nothing. Okay, next turn. Doors opening, but no activity. Okay, run over there. Open the door. Nothing. Okay, run over here. Nothing there either. That means you guys step forward. Mr. Quiet doesn't have a flare uh, anymore. So, Aza, it's your job now. Very good. Throw the second one as well. As far as you can. That's nice. That's nice. Doggy, come back. We don't want you to die either. Billy is relatively strong, so he'll be throwing... His flare over in this direction. Perfect. Okay, this is the edge as well. Okay, nothing there. Nothing here. Very good, very good. We'll just uh, storm the UFO and hopefully take some hostages. 
come over there. Excellent. Can you go there too? Yes, you can. Not enough energy though, that's a shame. Mr. Wozny, what about right there? Maybe you can shoot at this uh, building later. Billy, you will prepare yourself in a sniper position here. That's good, and we'll come out with even more soldiers. Timur, how far can you throw? Out of range. We need a heavy soldier. Who is heavy? Roderick is heavy. Come over here and throw it as far as you can. Hmm. Maybe now. Excellent. Still can't see anything, right? Right. Good. That's that's good. Okay, Timur. There. And more guys. Chris, you will also help inside. Next, we will have um, Emissary. I'm still not used to this new craft. Let's uh, let's put you over here, if that's possible. Yes, it is. Okay. Blood Reaper. I guess you guys need also some cover. It will be third turn very soon, actually, after I press the end of the turn button, I believe. So you need to be careful. One here. Thomas Riker here. And Captain J. Stank. I'm a little bit forward. I just want to try out the flamethrower. That's all. Not much else I want to do with you in this mission. Good. Next turn. Oh, and we see two sectoids already. Well, Dog doesn't see them, but somebody else does. BP Roberts, and he's hurt. Wow. Almost didn't survive. So, Billy, give me an aimed shot. Excellent. Doggy? Somebody told me actually in the comments that they don't see through small obstacles because they have a low profile. And that might be what happened here. Yeah, probably what happened here. Anyway. Roderick, how much do you need? 29, that's fine. Kill that guy. Excellent. I think you guys have the improved... No, you don't have the improved ammunition. Maybe you, Billy? Yes, you have the improved ammunition. Oh, and we haven't seen the stats on that. We have to look them up once we finish the mission. Okay. Oh, there's more. Look at that. And how many windows are there in this building? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Timur, throw this as far as you can. Excellent. And give me an aimed shot on this guy. Or maybe a couple of snapshots then. Oh, 1%. That's not good. That's not good. Then uh, throw another flare. Over here, that's cool. Somebody else will have to shoot Aza. Can you shoot there? No. Hmm. What about you, Roberts? No. Okay, doggy. Anything over on this side? Doesn't look like. Chris, throw it here. Yeah, there's nothing. This is the edge already. So there's just one building on this entire map, I would say. Yes, exactly. And we need to deal with uh, that guy somehow. 
We also need to patch up rookie BP Roberts because he's gonna die in a couple of turns. So why don't you run over to somebody who has a first aid kit? Blood Reaper, where are you? Over here, excellent. You need to help this guy. Not enough energy, of course. Hmm. Bobby, do you have a... Yes, you do. So take that. And apply one. And not enough for the second, but it's better than nothing. Okay, now you can survive 10 turns. This guy, I really don't know what to do with you. Could uh, shoot from this line, I guess. Something like here. Okay, who wants to go there? Billy, you will do that. And some other. Or maybe we can blow a hole over there. Hmm, that could work. So, everybody, step away because uh, Mr. Vozny with uh, firing accuracy of 53 is going to try and make a trick shot. Even the dog run away over here. Excellent. And give me an aimed shot. Blow up this. Excellent. Now we have a clear shot, I would say. So, as a shoot. I think that was even a hit. That was not a hit. Okay. Chris. We need more light. Excellent. Excellent. Timur. Oh, almost, almost. Okay, Roberts, can you take your revenge on this guy? Guess not. No, you can't. Okay, Bobby can't do anything. Mr. Quiet, we want to have a look inside. There's nothing there. Go over here, that's good. Emissary. You could shoot, but it's dangerous. Thomas Riker. Okay. Put down your flare. And give me an aimed shot, please. Excellent. Oh, and that's it. We didn't even see the inside of the UFO. But what counts is we haven't lost anyone. <laughs> Excellent. Two power sources, two UFO navigations. Not so many alloys, that's surprising, but a lot of Illyrium. Excellent. But we also didn't um, capture any live aliens, which is really a shame. Captain Jay Stang is finally a captain, Thomas Riker is a captain, and we have one, two, three, four new sergeants. Billy and Aza, our rookies, have uh, skipped being a squaddy and uh, went directly for sergeant. And Roderick and Carlos have been promoted as well. Congratulations, guys. You've done well. And because it's been 29 minutes already, wow, we'll be saving this as part 13. It's the end of it, and uh, I see you next time. Bye-bye.